Yo! Video games. Let's go to this guy. A starry night as well, and our promise. What if that memory was all just a lie? Just keep checking all those small emotions. This is a weird line. And it'll come back slowly, little by little. So back at that old scene we saw at the very beginning of the game, where they were like teenagers and Cloud is leaving for the war. From the beginning. From the beginning. So JJ knew everything. Well, she knew that it wasn't Cloud that showed up to Nibelheim a long time ago. That actually wasn't Cloud. But for some reason, Cloud, when she ran into him again and he was abandoned at the station and she found him, Cloud, Cloud had a memory that that was him. And she, she ignored it. She actually hid that for some reason. Here's the old cutscene of them when they were teenagers. Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine the sky? Where's Cloud's head? He's leaning down like this. His head is like leaning down. It's like the back of his head. That one over there? Yeah. yeah. It, it looks the, like he has no head. Yeah, yeah it looks like he's, he's leaning his head down. That's why I kept thinking you were the real Cloud. I still believe you're Cloud from Nibelheim. But you don't believe in yourself. These memories aren't enough. What about your other memories? So who, who the hell stole Tifa's panties? That's what I want to know. That must be fake if he could recall up that memory. What about some memory that has to do with me? Now that you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. What are you talking about? Here comes a kid. Kid Cloud. You're so busy with your own things, it's only natural you didn't remember me. You got the Fifth, actually, five bucks from Gonzo Flex. I almost lost my shit there. Thank you, Gonzo. <laughs> then, it's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? So that's that's Cloud, that's Cloud saying that, yeah. A sealed up secret wish. Tender memories no one can ever know. This is a, this is a memory that Cloud has that Tifa doesn't know about. Secrets! Top secrets. Follow, follow, follow. Into Tifa's bedroom. My bedroom? <laughs> my room? It's my first time there. I only used to look up at it from outside. Hey, look. You, got the time. you guys eat free. Thank you, Jake Reznor. <laughs> I appreciate it. Cloud's coming. I think he wants to come in. Was that the first day you came into my room? Uh, that's right. We lived next to each other. We didn't know you that well. 
I've known you since we were children and always thought we were close. Now that you mentioned, I don't recall you ever being in my room. JJ always used to have her own group. That's right. I thought they were all stupid. What? <laughs> you were all childish, laughing at every stupid thing. We were children. So Cloud was an outcast as a kid. It was JJ's fault. <laughs> it's different from these immature kids. Maybe. Just maybe they would invite me in. Damn, Cloud's getting mad emo. Yeah. I'm so prejudiced and weak. The night I asked JJ to come out to the well, I thought to myself if JJ would never come, that she hated me. So sudden, I was a bit surprised. So they actually really didn't know each other back when all this memory stuff happened. It's true we weren't that close, but... They, so they weren't really that close young when they were young. Like, it was one of those things that he was the outcast and asked her, come to the well because I'm leaving for the war. Tell him what you told me later. He'll probably be happy. So she's telling the old memory of Cloud, not the new one. What happened on this day? Was it a special day? This was the day. Interesting. That he decided to become a soldier? Then he decided to leave. Yeah. yeah. JJ's mother. Oh, this was the day that... Yeah, the day Tifa's mother died. That's why she's acting this way. Oh. I wonder if there's anything beyond that mountain. She's gonna climb the fucking scary ass mountain. Does that kid have a beard? Tifa is super emotional because her mom died and she's going to climb the mountain. Have a good night, Sir Jackal. The kid's like, nope. He's like, fuck that shit. I, I prefer living. How are they not getting into any random encounters? Here comes Cloud! <laughs> Kids like, screw that, we're out of here! I don't remember the path I walked. JJ missed her step. I ran to her but didn't make it in time. We fell off the cliff. Back then I only scarred my knees, but... That's right, Tifa almost dies. And everyone blames Cloud for it. The hell's the matter with you, you fucking kid? They just leave him. They take the yeah, girl. They literally, because Cloud has got like skin legs and he was fine. But yeah, Tifa was in a coma for seven days. So this is why Cloud has this resentment his whole life about doing good because he fucked up so bad. He was like oh. a reject kid, goes to try to save her up the mountain, is the only one to follow her. They both fall off the cliff and everyone blames Cloud. This is this is the beginning of Cloud being super fucked up in the head. This is where it all starts. It all, like, it all started with JJ. It all started with Tifa. It all started because Cloud liked Tifa. 
He'd get into fights with anybody, went out of control. Deathmatch loser! Welcome back, dude. That was the first time he heard about Sephiroth. I thought if I were strong like Sephiroth, then he could prevent shit like this from happening. If I could just get stronger, JJ would notice me. Remembers back when we were eight. That's it. Now I know! You weren't created five years ago. You weren't. My childhood memories weren't made up, because they were saying we were a clone a little while ago. We were created from Professor Hojo as a Sephiroth clone. You That's and Tifa? No, no, no. Cloud was. Oh. The memories everywhere else are from a different cloud, not this one. Oh. Like, this guy is just a duplicate of that cloud. Oh. That's what we're remembering. So that's what we're trying to figure out, like, what the fuck is actually going on. And we have these memories now. Cloud is remembering falling off the cliff, almost killing Tifa. So, we're about to find out which one is the real Cloud. Is Cloud the soldier guy with the hair? Is Cloud the dude that was a little kid? Is Cloud the first class soldier? We don't... We don't exactly know yet, but slowly he's figuring himself out right now. This is like all subconscious sequence that's happening within the live stream. The truth is right here. We almost have the answer right in the palm of our hands. Where are you going? The reactor. To the reactor from five years ago. Okay, let's go. We'll figure out what the fuck happened there. A lot of shit happened in the reactor. Like Cloud fought Sephiroth. Can't remember what happened. Tifa got scarred to shit here. Like Sephiroth fucked up Tifa. And then, we remember Cloud coming in and saving her, but... Hey, it's Cloud. Zack, Zack. This is Zack. Who <laughs> actually didn't help Tifa. At all. Who ran past her to go fight Sephiroth. It was Zack who came to Nabelheim with Sephiroth. It wasn't actually Cloud. So, when they were walking in, the picture they took, all that stuff that was in Spot, it was not Cloud. Cloud wasn't the first class soldier, it was Zack. We don't know much about Zack. Barely anything at all. But he was, he was the super dude that was with Sephiroth. So, why does, why does Cloud remember this shit? Oh fuck, Zack just got wrecked. He says he saw everything. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, boys. Shit, this is so goddamn cool. Who are you? Give me my town back. So he was there the whole time. Throughout all the memories and all that shit, he actually was. That's why he has memories of it. He's not a clone. He was that soldier. He was a regular soldier. He repressed his memories so much because he didn't actually make it. He didn't become what he wanted to be. 
He was just a grunt the whole time. Never made it as a member of Soldier. Zack was the hero. I even left his hometown telling everyone that he was going to join, but... He was embarrassed. He didn't want to see anybody. <laughs> he runs back and puts his helmet on. He's too embarrassed that he didn't make it, so... He gets all fucked up in the head because of this. I'm moving. I'm moving. He was the dude that was passed out on the ground. <laughs> Sephiroth lit everything on fire. But I like it how there's dudes in the chat that are that, are, that have never seen this game before. They're like, fucking dude! What the fuck? <laughs> what is this game? And Cloud it's was the like one. left Zack there. Yeah, Zack got left there and Cloud was the one that actually saved Tifa and pulled her aside. What the fuck is going on? And Sephiroth, who is now fucked up because Cloud just stabbed him in the back, yeah. is now Sephiroth's trying to get away with Genova's head, so he can he can make the reunion happen. <laughs> I like the Dragon Batman. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> this is why FF7 is fucking great, guys. Story is legit good. Because it was only her head left, anyways. Yeah, it was only the head. So Sephiroth is about to leave, even though he's fucking been impaled by Cloud. Cloud, kill Sephiroth! He's just a grunt. He's just a grunt. He's a normal guy. He's not special in any way at all. Don't push it. Just a grunt. So he just impaled him? He just impaled him. And Cloud, from the impaled sword, rips it out of him and throws Sephiroth into the live stream. The Sephiroth sword he weakened. Now this is the part that I was super confused at the long time, like, how the fuck did Cloud do that? Like, how did he do that? We just found out he's a regular guy, then I started thinking back, did he, was he already infused with, like, the genes at this point to give him superpower to do this shit? No. Sephiroth was already stabbed. He was walking down and about to leave with Genova's head. He impales Cloud, and not through any superpower at all, through regular dude skill. Because he's... Because he's motivated now. Because he's fucked up everything. Through sheer willpower, Cloud takes his impaled body and throws Sephiroth off the cliff. Into the life stream. Cloud pretty much killed Sephiroth, and then his body showed up, half his body shows up at the top of the Northern Crater later in the game. That's what happened. Half of Sephiroth's body? Yeah, half, so his body gets chucked into the life stream in the Malco Reactor, and because he's been pretty much cut in half, and half his body splits up, his legs are gone, and you only see half of Sephiroth's body in top of, of in Materia at the end of the game, or in the Northern Crater earlier. He literally does it through sheer willpower, which is actually a way better part of the story, because he has a purpose now. Yeah, Sephiroth was already stabbed, that's why he's super weakened. The cutscene in Crisis Core is different than the cutscene in the anime. The anime cutscene, in my opinion, is fucking bullshit. It's stupid, dude. It ruins the whole point of the scene. I hate that scene. I hope they I hope they stay as far away from that shit as possible. There, there's, there's a, there's a cutscene of what happened with this thing in... Not a cutscene, there's an actual short OVA of the Zack story. And what happened in Evilheim. It's like an animation. Dude, it... Sucked. Like, it is... 
It's so bad. I, I know you guys, some of you guys might like it, but I really don't like it. It like ruins the point of the story. Because the whole point of the story is that Cloud does it out of sheer willpower. Crisis Core is fine. Last Order, it, Last Order was the name of it. Last Order is bad. Like, it's, it is not good. It is cheesy schlock anime bullshit. Uh, it's not good. It pretty much means, like, they have this moment where Cloud gets stabbed by Sephiroth, and his, like, eyes are glowing with Mako, like, I'm a superhuman, and chucks Sephiroth off. It's super lame. It, like, removes the whole point of why it happens. The OVA is bullshit. Crisis Core is a bit better. Crisis Core is actually fairly similar to this. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I got on a tangent. I, I have to work tomorrow. I'm sorry, I'll get through this. Sorry, I'm, like, winding down. JJ's so like, winding down. I like the story. So I know. I, 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 I'm getting on a tangent right? of stuff you haven't seen before. I know. Here we go. So Cloud has now figured out who he is. He was just a—he was just a generic grunt soldier. So how did he get infused with the? Uh... After that, well, we're actually gonna—we can actually find out through a cutscene right after this, okay. which is Zach's story. So Cloud has now figured out who he is. We'll find out how Cloud got his Mako eyes and everything like that. Yeah, the Nibelheim Mansion is where we have to go right after this to, to conclude the story, guys. We need to we need to figure out what happened. Oh, I'm not forcing JJ to stay up. JJ can go to sleep anytime. But she's actually yes. interested. So, Medeal is toast. Place is fucking gone. That's why we had to buy our weapons and everything before it was totally gone. And she just passes out again. Everyone, I'm sorry and I don't know what to say. So he's back to normal. I never was the soldier. I made it up about what happened five years ago. Cloud is literally a... Uh, I guess would be a sociopath. Not a psychopath. It's a name for it when you like make up something and you truly believe it. He created an illusion of himself, made up what I had seen in my life, and continued to play the charade as if it were true. Pretty damn strong for an illusion. Physically, I'm built like someone in Soldier. Hoja's plan to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It's not not delusional. There's an there's a there's an actual term for it. Since they were creating members of Soldier. You see, someone in Soldier isn't ex simply exposed to Mako energy. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. For better or worse, only the strong inner Soldier. It has nothing to do with the Genova reunion. But weak people like me get lost in the whole thing. Combination of Genova cells, Sephiroth strong well, and my own weakness are what created me. Every everyone knew everyone knew that I'm Cloud. Master Revolutionary World. But I can't remain trapped in it anymore. We ain't gonna pretend anymore. <laughs> you are sure you are fucked up, dude. You are fucked up. I think it is a sociopath. No, schizophrenic. It's schizophrenic. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Guys, wiki schizophrenic, because I'm Fairly sure that's. That means he ain't no different from before. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what it is.
I'm the reason why Meteor is falling towards us. Because he done fucked up. This is why I have everything in my power to fight this thing. You're going to keep fighting to save the planet? It's like you always told me, Steeb. Uh-oh. You mean that? What? I don't understand. There ain't no getting off of this train and the music kicks in. Yeah! Video games! Schizophrenic has multiple personalities. Isn't that exactly what he has? He does have multiple personalities. We, we just combined all of his personalities together. That was the whole point of that scene, is that he had multiple personalities that were like in different places. No one knows when the fighting will begin. Let's get ready. We have to arrange our party now. Kenson's and Tifa. You actually know the story of Zack. I'll tell you right now, the reason why Cloud has like the Mako eyes and all that stuff is because he got in, he got stabbed, he got uh, and Tifa got messed up, and Zack was screwed up. And that thing that happened earlier was that Professor Hojo, who's the mad scientist of the game, went to go find Sephiroth and picks up these two guys and pieces of Genova and starts doing experiments on them. That's how Cloud becomes super fucking beefy and powerful. And that's exactly what leads to the crisis for him. Good night. Take that Benny. Go to sleep. JJ can never do the long runs. Well, if I didn't have to work... Oh, bipolar tomorrow. is not multiple personalities, guys. Oh, I gotta work all day. It's two in the morning here. Have a good one, baby. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you for reading messages. He's a narcissist? I don't think that's what narcissist is. Narcissist is when you're like totally full of yourself. You have like a god complex. No, there is a turn. He just had like an amnesia or something. Something with a different multiple lives or something like that. Pretty sure he thought he was multiple different people at some point. I don't know. I'd like I'd like to hear from the creators what he has, because it's kind of it's kind of schizophrenic in my opinion. But it's up to you guys. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Let's go learn the rest of this story. We can maybe settle down for the night. Disassociate identity disorder? That could be... That's something I've never actually looked into. So that could definitely be it. So the game is truly opening up now. We have our entire party with us. And now I am going the wrong fucking way. <laughs> uh, let's go back to Nibelheim because we have a super important cutscene before we wrap this shit up for the night. Now, we're going to go back to the basement where all the creepy experiments happen in Nibelheim. It's actually where we also found uh, Kensit or Vincent. Very important place. I do have to equip Cloud. I do. Let's put some shit on this guy. Crystal sword, boys. Damn, that enhanced sword. Holy shit. Warrior bangle is kind of balls. It's kind of balls. Let's just, okay, I think we can all agree. Cloud's got PTSD, he's got split personality disorder, schizophrenia, the common cold, probably Ebola. The dude's got, the dude is seriously fucked up. But now he's okay, so don't worry about it. Now he's all, now he's totally fine. He's totally fine, boys. Shit, where'd all my other items go? Jackass. Cloud has the bird flu. <laughs> exactly. So this is the thing, is that Cloud's gone through this huge fucking transformation, figuring out who he is, which is which is why the character arc of this main character is good, because he's this emo asshole pretty much throughout the whole game, and now dickbag Cloud is totally hero Cloud. He's totally ready to go kick ass and save the fucking planet, which is pretty neat. Pretty neat character arc. I like it. I like it. My crystal sword is going to fuck this dude up. 
fuck this, I'm leaving. I thought I was just drunk. Or not drunk enough. It's gotta be lupus. It's not lupus! Emo also gotta be lupus. It's not lupus! Yeah, he got better at- because after Advent Children, after like he saves the world, he realized like he fucking killed Aerith. But, I don't know, it's like... That- in, in Advent Children, he's like sad. And it's... And he's super lame. Like, Cloud is super lame in Advent Children, ha like halfway through. And then he becomes okay when he has to go fight, you know, Bahamut. But dude... Dude... I don't know, man. I know Cloud needs materia. I'm gonna go run and do this really quick. So, here we are. Back in the basement of Shinra. Shinra Mansion, where we found Vincent, a Turk. Locked up, and this is where Sephiroth found out who he was. And we trigger a flashback. This is your food. Oh! And Zack punches the fuck out of this guy. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here, bro! This place is scary as shit! Man, Zack has got a farmer's tan. So Zack saves Cloud. This is this you guys will see in detail what happens in this part of the game in Crisis Core. It is a it pretty much sums it up very well. It's a good game too. Except that goddamn casino slot bullshit. Put this on. It smells a little, but don't complain. What's crazy is that this is a cutscene that you could play this entire game and never see. You would you could never see this if you did this. That's nuts. Vincent's story, Yuffie's story, you can never see it. They're all completely optional. Which was ridiculous because this is so fucking critical to the story that it's insane. It's insane. It's like cutting out the moment in Aliens where you find out that Ripley had a daughter and she died of old age because Ripley was in hypersleep for like 60 years. Is that fucking important? Okay. So Zack saves Cloud. They escape Shinra Mansion where Professor Hojo was doing a ton of experiments on him, turning him into super soldiers. And they're trying to get back to Midgar. And Cloud is fucked up. Because he's a regular dude. But Zack is a superhero. He's like Captain America. Don't worry, guys. That part of Aliens is that in the first 10 minutes of the movie. First 10 minutes of the movie. I didn't spoil anything for you dudes. I got a place I can crash for a while. No, wait. The monster lives there, too. No, wait. The mother lives there, too. Oh, shit. I, this is actually important dialogue. It's related to what happens in Crisis Core. He's saying, no wait, the mother lives there too. So what are we thinking about? Somebody's mom lives there as well. Guess that's out. So, I'll tell you guys right now, it's Aerith's place. We're talking about Aerith's house, which we saw earlier. The only place that had a mom throughout this whole game that was living there is, uh... Yeah. Is at his mom's place. That's her mom's place. So, Zack and Aerith totally knew each other.
<laughs> you didn't even know this was in the game, Gamester. It's pretty important. It's ridiculous how it's optional. Hey, old guy, what do you think I'd be good at? That's true, Zach's house and Gogana had, uh... But they were saying they were going to... They were going to Midgar. And the only place in Midgar that had a mom was, was Aerith's house. Where everything, that's easy for him to say. <laughs> I'm gonna do squats at that fucking gym forever. I'm gonna become a mercenary and do squats. Did you even hear a word I said? Listen, I'm gonna become a mercenary, and that's that. Boring stuff, dangerous stuff, anything for money. I'm gonna be rich. Well, you got it all wrong. <laughs> We're friends, right? Zach has this dream of going back to Midgar and uh, teaming up with Cloud and then doing cool shit together. They're going to go back to Midgar. They're going to fuck stuff up. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Let's just get this guy back there. God damn, you are heavy. Fuck. What the hell's wrong with the background? Kind of sucks. What do you want to do with them? Uh, forget it, just leave them. So, on their way back to Midgar, Zack's assassinated by... Shinra soldiers. And I... And then Cloud wakes up at like the worst time. Finds his friend dead. Takes his sword. And goes back to Midgar. That looks funny. That looks a little funny. Inside of the textures being all jacked up. 